Another day, another step closer to launching my new startup. Lately, most of my time has been spent bouncing between cafes here in Singapore. From coding, creating content, and just staying laser focused on bringing this idea to life has honestly been my priority. It's been really fun to get back into that productive rhythm again. And the best part, I've been documenting the whole process from brainstorming the app idea to actually building it to chasing down that very first paying customer. In today's video, I'll walk you through exactly how I'm doing it step by step so you can see what it really takes to launch a profitable app completely on your own. Stick around till the end to find out how much money the app has made so far. So you may be wondering, what's my startup idea? It's a simple tool that lets anyone build an app or software without ever needing to know how to code. And then it helps users monetize what they've created by having an integrated payment system so that they can make a living from it. You might be wondering why I chose to build something like this. Well, the truth is learning to code is tough. Everyone knows that there are countless concepts, frameworks, and choices to navigate. And most beginners get overwhelmed before they even write their first real line of code. That's why I'm building this tool with two main goals in mind. First, to give myself and others an easy way to turn ideas into working applications without touching code. Second, to make it simple for people to actually earn from those projects so that your ideas can become an additional income stream. And when I thought about it more, I realized I'm definitely not the only one facing this problem. Anyone who wants a fast, no-code path to building apps is in the same boat. The traditional way which is to hand code everything from scratch is a slow, painful, and honestly outdated process. Yet, good alternatives are still hard to find. That's when I decided, why not try building this tool myself? That way, I can create future apps in seconds, have a built-in payment system ready, and manage everything under one platform. Saving time and opening up multiple revenue streams but before writing any code, I had to research the competition and who I'm up against. For example, there's Lovable, which lets you go from an idea to app without code. However, you still need some technical knowledge to hook up your backend and payment systems. That's where I see an opportunity. My approach is to make the process completely seamless. This means backend, payments and deployment all handled automatically under one platform. The only thing that a user should care about is taking their idea and thinking about whether or not the idea is good. From what I've read, Lovable is already growing fast, pulling in impressive revenue and scaling globally. That's proof that there's real demand in this space, which only boosts my confidence in my own startup idea. There are also other players like Bolt.ai and Base44 but they tend to expect users to have a coding knowledge, which shuts off the majority of people who just wants to build quickly and earn from their creations. So my plan is simple. Build a truly no-code platform that takes an idea and turns it into a full-stack application with payments integrated or without requiring users to know anything about coding. Once I've studied my competitors, it was tempting to dive straight into coding, but I knew I needed a plan for version 1 first. Otherwise, I risk building features nobody needs or constantly chasing shiny ideas that don't solve the core problem. For planning, I like to use the SLC framework, simple, lovable, and complete. I'm not a fan of the half-baked MVPs that break easily and don't actually deliver on the one or two core features that they always promise. So here's what that means for me. Simple means that the version 1 of my app must have one clear focus, letting users turn an idea into a functioning app with natural language prompts. Lovable means that people should enjoy using it, no clunky workarounds. And lastly, my app has to be complete, which means that my app doesn't need dozens of features from the get-go, but rather the essentials that must work from day one. So for version 1, users should be able to sign up, describe their idea in plain English, and see it generate into a real working version almost instantly. It won't have every feature I want yet, but it'll provide real value and be ready for feedback. Once the plan was solid, I secure a domain name. It is short, clear, meaningful, and it doesn't break my bank account. For the tech stack, I'm using React and Next.js for the front end and API, Superbase for back end and authentication, and Stripe for payments. Normally, setting all these up would take hours, but I used Tempo, which streamlined everything. With a quick setup and some API keys, I had a working project with authentication, database, and payments all under 10 seconds. Then, I fed Tempo a description of my app, and it generated clean starter files and UI layouts. Honestly, the first draft was impressive, not perfect, but a solid foundation for me to build on. With a few extra prompts, I was able to refine things like the UI and UX, which made it much more pleasing for my users. Tempo's interface also made it super easy for me to build. Firstly, they have their product tab, which defines all the requirements, features, and user flows that feed directly into the AI. Secondly, they have their design tab, which has a drag and drop UI building tool, which allows you to also import Figma designs that automatically convert it into React code. Lastly, they have their code tab, which allows you to edit the code files directly, such as popular IDEs like VS Code and Cursor. Additionally, 
additionally, Tempo has Git and GitHub integration built in, which allows users to upload their code into the repositories. Once I was happy, I pushed everything into GitHub and fired Cursor to start building the core features. Here's a quick time lapse of me coding away. After days of testing and refining, I felt that the app was ready for a small launch. I didn't aim for a viral breakout just yet. Instead, I posted it on popular places like Product Hunt, Twitter, and niche subreddits where my ideal users hang out. The idea was to get real feedback from the right people. So how did it go? Well, it wasn't an overnight success. Honestly, it was discouraging at first seeing low traction and a lot of ignored messages. But this isn't one of those I launched my app and instantly became a millionaire videos. And I think then that's more important. Failure and friction teach you more than blind success. I rather know what went wrong and improve then succeed without knowing a clue why. Even though the launch didn't blow up, I stuck with it. I kept reaching out, listening to users and tweaking the product, making it better and better. And eventually, I landed 8 signups with 2 converting into paying customers. The app has made just over $100 so far, not life changing money, but proof that people are willing to pay for it. And that to me is a huge milestone. So what's next? I've got plenty of improvements and tweaks I want to make in my mind and I'll be sharing the entire journey here as I work towards something bigger. If you want to follow along and see how I grow this app from scratch to greater and greater heights hit subscribe and i'll see you in the next video